Right. So I'm Lisa, as you know, and I'm talking to Natasha Donaldson from Hamilton, and her um, business is called Pure Envy Beauty. And the reason I wanted to talk to her and everybody else is I want her to be able to express how she feels now about her business compared to where she was, I don't know, how long ago? How long since we first come in touch with you? Uh, it's been about a year and a half. About a year and a half. And I think the first one you poked your toe in the online, didn't you? And you started again. Yes. Yeah. Started with the club zing. Club zing, yeah. And so how many team members do you have, Natasha? I have four. Four, yeah. And they were doing quite well. Even when we first met you, they were doing quite well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. They were doing quite well. Yeah. Um, and it was probably I started because I felt a little bit lost. Yeah. Um, and I just needed some direction of where how I could help them out a little bit more. And do you have a little family? I do. So I have two children, um, five-year-old and a two-year-old. Oh, my gosh. And a salon. So you've got three babies, really. Yeah. <laughs> and a partner. Oh, <laughs> four babies. Four. <laughs> yeah. And so what I, what I really liked about you is that you did so well just on your own from the online. I thought that was really interesting because a lot of people buy online courses and don't do them. And you were different. So I already was warm to you by the time you come to us because I thought, wow, she's made those changes all by herself. Um, so that was really good for me, really interesting. So what, what would be, if you were looking at someone who's thinking about taking on a personal coach, what would you tell them? What would you say? What's the main difference, I suppose, for you now compared to if you wind the clock back to 18 months ago? Yeah. So um, one of the reasons it, why it took me a little bit, um, it took me a little while to go to one-on-one -on -one coaching was purely for the investment and to be able to trust that you're going to get that investment back. Um, but, and it, at, at, first of all, at the start, you think, oh, I'm not too sure. But I think within a month or two, our figures were soaring. And um, the girls were a lot happier too as they could get a lot more direction. I felt more confident and I was accountable for um, what was happening in the business. So I'm sure a lot of other business owners are the same where we turn up to work, do our job, take the money home and you're not really sure where it's actually going. So um, as in, you know, what your stock levels are, even pricing. So that was a, a big one for us. Um, we did a price increase and actually came into line with a lot of the other salons um, within the town. So if you're thinking about it, um, I would say just go for it. Um, because the Zing coaches are there to help you and to, they make you accountable. Um, they'll put things into place that are, it's foolproof. It's not gonna fail. So it's, yeah, big trust, trust thing. It is a big trust thing, isn't it? And I think yeah. there's a lot of um, business coaching out there that don't guarantee their return. And I think that's what I like to bring to the table is, you know, if we can't find you that $1,500 a week, then we're not gonna charge you that a month. You know, we need to see what's growing and see what's not growing. Um, and you've just thrived. I think the thing that I like the most is um, the team members love us as well. It's not like we're in here to make money for you. We're in here yeah. to make great organization and when it's a great organization the money just shows up so it's kind of yeah. second very important but it comes yeah. from having that clarity and yeah. um do you ever feel like you know we always measure the stress levels you know when you're stressed and every week we ask you that don't we we say what's the stress level <laughs> yes. and, uh, is it any better yet or are we still are working uh, it is now <laughs> It did actually get worse. <laughs> my stress levels did go up. <laughs> Just because for being accountable, I had to have my figures in and um, yeah, I had to get my three tasks done for the week to give to Marie. Um, but I, I'm much better now. I've got it under control. And it's so much easier now um, to do it. I think I'm about seven months into one-on-one -on -one coaching um, with Marie. I had... Probably I was almost a year of doing club zing just by myself um, before I switched over. So, yeah, much easier now. And the, and the return on investment, I think you, you mentioned before we pushed record that you were doing, what were you doing before and what are you doing now with the same team members? Uh, yes, same team members. So we were doing around um, 7,000. A week? Um, yes, that was on a good week. So a bad week would be around the 6,000. 
Um, now on a bad week, we're around 8,000. On a good week is 10,000. So much better. So it? happy. Yep. And yep. Numbers. Yeah, yep. And the other good thing too um, was that we changed our bonus or our target um, structure and jumped onto the way that Zing does it. And that's been amazing for uh, my staff members. Um, you know, we now do profit share and they love it. And, um, you know, two of my girls in particular hit it really regularly. And I think they feel a lot more appreciated yeah. because they can see that, yeah, they're getting paid more for not really, ha like, working smarter, not harder. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. You don't want to work anyone work hard. I don't want to work hard. I want to work smart and be efficient. And yeah. I think when, um, what really makes me very interested in a customer is when they've got little children. Because I think when I meet someone with little children, that's a big job, you know, and I think that these years are really numbered. And if you don't, don't have the freedom of choice to spend where you want to spend your time, it's, it's, a, it's a shame. It's a real shame. Yeah. How much time yeah. are you spending? Has that changed in the salon? Are you spending less hours in the salon? Or how is that any different? Um, yes. Well, I spend... Um, I actually hardly do any clients anymore. I probably have about one or two a week. Um, and I spend a lot more time on the business. So um, I work two days a week in the salon. Um, and then the rest is, you know, at home. I can do things in between looking after the kids. So, yeah, I don't have to be out there now. All the time. And do you, do you find one of the things that people often say is they feel bad about that, like guilty, like I'm not working when we know you are working. So is that okay? The girls accept that you're not in the salon doing clients anymore? Well, um, they definitely do because I actually open my column up every week, but they just don't put clients in because they want to do them. So, um, yeah, it's great. Uh, I'd like to do clients, but I don't have any. So, um, yeah, so they more them. And I did struggle with that a little bit, especially, you know, clients would ask when when I went on maternity leave. Um, I had 12 months off from maternity leave and the girls ran it by themselves and then came back and, yeah, I just didn't really have to go back on the floor anymore. So, yeah, it's great. So I, I am over it now, feeling the guilt. Um, yeah. yeah. And so you should. I think it's a, it, you've got two jobs. If you work on the floor, that's one job. And if you run a business, that's a second job. So to have two jobs, I think you can for a while. But you've got three. Well, you actually got the little piglets at home. So yeah. and it's so lovely. I just think it's you learn this and you can keep it forever. That's what's really nice about it. Yeah, yeah. It's great. And it's great to have direction. You know, you know where you're going. And um, I attended the marketing um, Zing marketing seminar the mm -hmm. other week. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. Um, so I'm sure myself, like most businesses, we just suck at marketing, and it was really great. I've got direction now, um, and it's yeah. really important to spend that time to do that. Definitely, time. and also to realise that there's other people in the room just like you. Not yeah, like you. yeah, yeah. Really. and the girls have loved it. So. Um, yeah, they've really taken, they've been great. They've taken a lot on board. So we do, um, in quiet times, the girls watch the Zing, um, Club Zing. So yeah. Good. they're loving it. Yeah. yeah. And so in what's the main thing? Why have you succeeded, do you think? What is it that, that sets you differently? I remember my coach asking me this. He said, what's, how come you've succeeded when not everybody does as well as you? What do you think it is? What changed in you the most? Uh, well, being accountable changed for me um, and actually knowing your figures. So um, because I, I'm not in the salon all that often, um, you know, I could just collect the money and think that, oh, everything's going well. But as soon as, yeah, I could actually really see what was coming and what was going out. Yeah. Um, and, right. yeah, and Marie, like she has amazing um, things we can do. She does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish my arena was here, but anyway. So thank you. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'd love to keep in touch with you and find out what you're up to next time. Yeah, well, I'm hoping to go into, is it the board, move on now into the boardroom. Yeah, yeah. so I'm pretty excited about doing that. Yeah, you'll yeah. love that. That'll yeah. Be yeah. All right, well, thank you. Thank you very okay. much. We'll, we'll, um, we'll talk next time. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. My pleasure. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
Bye.